family, peace kings and queens, and investors, and almost investors, expiring investors, Jim Morris Academy students, wealth builders, what's up? So I came up with this cool title, How to Be a First Time Home Buyer Twice, Two Times, or Three Times, or Four Times. Because from dealing with different uh, protégés throughout the country, I kept getting the same question about FHA and being a first time home buyer and getting the three and a half percent or utilizing three and a half percent down payment, right? So the trick, and not really so much a trick, but the understanding of it all is that when you purchase a property, right, and you go in for the first time, you buy a one to four unit property, right, so it's like this, four. So you buy a one, we're an hour down here. So you can buy a one to four unit property, right, with three and a half percent down. Most of you are under the impression and believe, or many of you, that this is for first time home buyers, right? This is what you get to use for some home buyers. Three and a half percent down, lower credit score, low down payment, blah, blah, blah. Wrong. That is the wrong impression and that is stifling a lot of you from owning more real estate. Once you, so there's like two or three things to this. Once you purchase one of these properties and at three and a half percent down, once you sell one of these properties, say you sold, you bought a single family and two years later you sold it. You can then go get another two uh, single family or four family FHA, three and a half percent down, even though it's your second home. And you can do that again and again and again until FHA changes the programs or guidelines or any bank for that matter, right? It's not about it being a first time home buyer as it is about being an owner occupied home borrower. It's about being owner occupied, what we call owner oc. Are you going to be living here and actually occupying the property? When you're not going to be living there and occupying the property, or your moving doesn't make sense to the bank. So you can say, hey, I got a single family and I'm going to buy this owner occupied, right? Owner rock. But the bank's like, nah, we don't believe that you're leaving this single family and moving into this four family owner occupied. We think you're trying to dupe us and just trying to pull off an investment with lower down payment. Doesn't make sense to the underwriter, no go. So the trick in which we teach, which we teach and my strategy is from years in the mortgage industry and as an investor, what I know is that if your first property owner occupied is a four family or multifamily, and then you scale up in a sense from an underwriter's eyes from a multifamily to a single family, this now makes sense that you started as an investor living in one unit, renting the other units out, and now you want to be an owner-occupied borrower of this unit, a single family. That now makes sense to an underwriter. And the whole point is not to uh, be fraudulent or dupe the system. The whole point is to be strategic in how you purchase real estate so that you can build a portfolio leveraging the best incentives that there are for you. So, in order, so the way to do that legally is to actually live in your four unit, scale up, then go actually live in your single unit. Whether it's be a two or three K purchase, or it's a regular single family purchase, or whatever it is. But now you've bought in two houses, been a first time home buyer, or at least as you guys think, you need to be a first time home, or many of you, excuse me, I don't want to assault anybody's intelligence. But many people think you got to be a uh, first time home buyer in order to utilize three and a half percent. You actually can do this multiple times. If you were to do this once and then do this, but then you sold this, you now can go in and buy another single family or even a four family, if it made sense, with three family or whatever, using three and a half percent because this was already rented. All this is already rented. You own the single family, but now you sold it, you're homeless and now you potentially do this. It may give you some pushback, but if you structure a deal the right way, if you have your leases and rents uh, all set up, and you can prove your case, you have a great shot for being able to execute this strategy. So that's my quick video on how to be a first time home buyer twice. Just utilize that. Oh, quick other tip while I'm thinking about it. If you get caught up and you wanna purchase a home but you can't get a mortgage because you already are mortgaged out, right? A mortgage company doesn't wanna finance you, but you have the cash or you have 
uh, the experience or some other intangible and you want to go into a property with someone as a co-borrower, the mortgage companies may not take you as a co-borrower if you already have mortgages on someone else's property. Whereas say your cousin, aunt, girlfriend, whomever wants to buy a property, two family, you can always go into the property with them as a partner, but you may not be able to be on a mortgage, but you could be on the deed. So after the closing, you can go in on a property as a deed, it'll still be your asset, still a property in your portfolio and on, you know, in your asset column, but just not on the mortgage. You have a private agreement with your partner on that property. So that's another little trick tip to how you can become a first time home buyer again, right? Or a third or fourth time home buyer. So thank you guys for watching this. Again, make sure you get your wealth DNA kit at jmorrisonacademy.com. Get your free wealth DNA kit. It's a mind shift. It's a, it's a changer because we have a wealth DNA manual, a daily budget, a monthly budget, your dream life expense sheet, and your financial analysis. Make sure you take advantage of that. And for those of you who aren't enrolled in Jay Morrison Academy, if you want to learn more from me or one of my certified mentors, make sure you go to jmorrisonacademy.com also to enroll in our 2016 courses. Peace.